After Flight 11, Elon Musk confirmed what many had suspected. SpaceX is retiring the Raptor 2 and moving to the next generation, Raptor 3. This engine isn't just more powerful. It's radically redesigned to be lighter, simpler, and tougher than anything before. Its performance during Flight 11 even caught NASA's attention, signaling a major leap in rocket engineering. So, what makes Raptor 3 such a breakthrough? Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk confirmed that Flight 11 marked the end of Raptor 2, most people thought it was just another upgrade in SpaceX's long list of engine revisions. But what came next went far beyond expectations. The Raptor 3 wasn't an improvement. It was a total redesign, one that broke the fundamental rule of rocket engineering. More power always means more weight. And yet SpaceX did the impossible. During Flight 11, SpaceX fans noticed a flash of bright blue flame, a new color, a new sound, a new heartbeat from Starbase. That was the world's first glimpse of the Raptor 3 in action. And according to internal sources, that test wasn't even at full power. So how did SpaceX manage to create an engine that's lighter, stronger, simpler, and still more powerful than anything before it? Let's start with the facts. Raptor 3 produces 280 tons of thrust, up by 50 tons from Raptor 2, and nearly 95 tons from the original Raptor 1. Elon Musk even hinted that it might be pushed to 300 or 330 tons in future tests. An insane leap by any engineering standard. But here's the real twist. Despite all that added power, it actually weighs less. Raptor 3 clocks in at 1,525 kilograms compared to Raptor 2's 1,630. And when you include all the connected systems, the total drops from 2,875 kilograms in Raptor 3-2 to just 1,720 kilograms. That's over one metric ton lighter per engine. Now, each super heavy booster carries 33 engines. Multiply that by one ton saved. That's more than 30 tons shaved off in total mass. For a rocket, that's like removing the entire weight of a city bus from every launch while still pushing harder than ever before. It's no wonder NASA engineers were astonished. They had to double-check the math themselves, because for decades no one had achieved both higher thrust and lower weight in a methane engine. SpaceX just did it. This isn't about magic. It's about philosophy. SpaceX engineers didn't chase complexity. They chased efficiency. Every piece of the Raptor 3 was redesigned from the inside out, following one of Musk's core principles. The best part is no part. Instead of adding more protection, more bolts, and more insulation, SpaceX removed everything unnecessary. The engine's electronics, wiring, and secondary piping are now built directly into its frame. This means fewer exposed joints, fewer chances for leaks, and a much cleaner system overall. Then came the boldest decision of all. SpaceX removed the engine's heavy base heat shield, Normally, rocket engines rely on thick shields to survive scorching temperatures during flight. But Raptor 3's new cooling design made that shield obsolete. How? By moving sensitive parts inside the structure, where they are naturally protected. The result, lower heat stress, greater durability, and a lighter, simpler engine that doesn't just survive. It thrives under extreme conditions. Even small fuel leaks no longer trigger alarms. Instead, they harmlessly burn off in the exhaust flow, a radical but safe approach that reduces backup systems, weight, and complexity. In short, Raptor 3 doesn't fight physics. It outsmarts it. The second pillar of SpaceX's success is manufacturing. Raptor 3 isn't machined, it's printed. Using industrial-scale 3D metal printing, SpaceX now creates entire assemblies as single solid pieces. This eliminates hundreds of bolts, joints, and welds, each of which used to be a potential failure point. That's not just faster, it's stronger. Internal cooling channels are now printed directly into the metal walls, something impossible with traditional machining. The precision is so high that every Raptor 3 is nearly identical, improving performance consistency and reliability across all engines. Musk has openly said SpaceX owns the most advanced metal 3D printing capability on Earth. That's not an exaggeration. It's why the company can build, 
test and refine engines faster than any government program ever could. What NASA once did in years, SpaceX now does in months, or sometimes weeks. Heat is the enemy of every rocket engine, but SpaceX turned that weakness into strength. Raptor 3 uses a regenerative cooling system, an elegant solution where ultra-cold methane is pumped through micro-channels in the nozzle walls before being ignited. As the fuel absorbs heat, it cools the engine while preheating itself for combustion. This design allows Raptor 3 to run hotter, cleaner, and longer than anything before it. It's a system so efficient that during internal testing, engineers reported near zero thermal deformation, meaning the engine didn't just survive high heat cycles, it stayed stable. That's crucial for SpaceX's vision of rapid reusability. Land, refuel, and launch again in days, not months. And this is why NASA's propulsion experts were genuinely impressed. They've seen plenty of experimental systems on paper, but few that actually worked under full thrust. Raptor 3 did. At SpaceX's McGregor test facility, engineers had to build brand new supports to handle the Raptor 3's raw power. When they fired it up, sensors captured data so clean that even veteran analysts were stunned. No unexpected vibrations, no unstable burn, just pure controlled thrust. That's why when SpaceX released the first photo of the Raptor 3, many in the aerospace industry didn't believe it. Tori Bruno, CEO of ULA, even mocked it online, suggesting SpaceX had shown a partially assembled engine. But then Gwyn Shotwell fired back with a now iconic post. Works pretty good for a partially assembled engine. Moments later, Musk replied simply, LOL. It wasn't just banter, it was confidence. The kind that comes when your data does the talking. Of course, no engine can shine without the right structure to carry it. That's where SpaceX's stainless steel decision pays off. Many doubted Musk when he moved away from carbon fiber. But the results are undeniable. Stainless steel isn't just cheaper. It's more reliable, heat-resistant, and even gets stronger in cold space temperatures. During re-entry, it resists the melting heat. In orbit, it hardens under freezing cold. That balance is what lets Starship withstand stress after stress, flight after flight. And the best part? It's easy to weld and reshape. SpaceX can build, test, and modify massive rocket sections faster than anyone else in the industry. This is how they're pushing toward airplane-like reusability. For decades, rockets were treated like disposable machines. One launch, one burn, then scrap. But SpaceX is changing that mentality. Every Raptor 3 is designed to fly up to 1,000 times with minimal maintenance. That's not theory. That's engineering ambition backed by data. At Starbase, SpaceX is already building new turnaround systems. Automated inspections, high-speed refueling, and rapid launch prep, all designed to mimic how airports handle aircraft. The goal? Launch, land, refuel, and launch again, within days. When that happens, space travel won't be a luxury experiment anymore. It'll be a scalable, profitable business. That's how you make interplanetary transport real. Not through hype, but through efficiency. Raptor 3 isn't just about SpaceX winning the next launch. It's about who will own the future of space logistics. Every ton of weight saved, every dollar cut from launch costs, shifts the balance of power. With Raptor 3, SpaceX is moving toward a fully reusable transport system capable of daily operations, not yearly events. That's why NASA, China, and Europe are watching closely. Because this engine doesn't just represent engineering success, it's a signal that the old rules no longer apply. SpaceX is proving that innovation isn't about flashy ideas. It's about building, breaking, and rebuilding until reality bends to your vision. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Insiders at Starbase suggest that SpaceX is already testing early prototypes of Raptor 3.5, a variant with improved cooling and modular rebuild capability. There are even whispers of a Raptor Vacuum 3X, optimized for deep space missions and capable of running on methane produced on Mars. If true, that means Musk isn't just preparing to reach Mars. He's preparing to stay there. Each generation of Raptor isn't just a step forward. It's a test of how fast SpaceX can evolve, learn, and scale. While other companies are still perfecting their first reusable rockets, 
SpaceX is already refining its third generation of engines. That's not competition, that's domination. In less than a decade, SpaceX turned a wild dream into working metal, fire, and flight. The Raptor 3 is proof that the limits of rocket science weren't physical, they were mental. It's faster, cleaner, simpler, and smarter, and it has already forced NASA, Boeing, and every aerospace player to rethink what's possible. Because once again, Elon Musk didn't just make an engine, he made a statement. Raptor 3 isn't just a new engine, it's the proof that SpaceX has redefined rocket engineering. Lighter, stronger, and more efficient, it marks the true beginning of reusable spaceflight on a global scale. This is exactly why Flight 11 was so important. It wasn't an end, but the start of something far bigger for humanity's path to the stars. What comes next could change everything, from faster launches to missions beyond Earth. And this is only the beginning. What do you think this breakthrough means for the future of space exploration? Share your thoughts below. Your perspective matters. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Space Hub. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update on the next big leap in space technology. Because here at Space Hub, we don't just report on space, we bring you closer to the future.